in Jesus' name. Are these not three of the most wonderful words of consolation, peace, and assurance that one can ever hear? Yet to Christians, the words often bring a variety of emotions and thoughts of relief and sorrow. And yes, they can even bring anxiety or peace, all of which depends upon today, this day, and where we stand in our relationship with God. Well, this should never be. Whenever we think about the concept of Jesus being our mediator, then we need to understand that Jesus is there to speak on our behalf with our Heavenly Father. And think with me for just a moment what it would be like to not have Christ as our mediator with the Father. Think for just a moment that there is no Jesus, that He's gone. No light, no Savior, no Redeemer, no Testator, no Testament, no reconciliation, no forgiveness of sins, no hope. Now reflect for just a moment. Simply stop and truly thank the Father for loving us and providing the gift of Jesus Christ. Here we are, weak, sinful, pitiful creatures, but we have a perfect mediator, an advocate with the Father, and access to both mercy and grace. But do you know why? Well, first, because he's God. In John 14, verses 11 through 13, we read, I am in the Father, and the Father in me. And whatever you ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. But secondly, it's because he was man. In 1 Timothy 2, 5, For there is one God and one mediator also between God and men, the man Jesus Christ, who gave himself as a ransom for all. But then thirdly, because he fostered a new covenant. Hebrews 8 and verse 6 says, But now he, referring to Christ, has obtained a more excellent ministry, by as much as he is also the mediator of a better covenant. Fourthly, we see because he is our Savior and our Redeemer. 1 John 2 verses 1 and 2 says, And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he himself is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for those of the whole world. But number five, we see it's because he said he would. John 14 and verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one cometh unto the Father but through me. And then we skip down to verse 14. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. Friends, we can't truly reflect upon nor contemplate Christ the mediator without first knowing all the other attributes of Christ. You see, it's the one aspect of him that is all-encompassing. But if we go back to the words that we began with, in Jesus' name, we think about all that the name of Jesus implies. We think about the goodness, the kindness, the mercy, we think about him from the standpoint of our Savior and how he lovingly went to the cross for us so that we could have our sins taken away. We think of him as our great example, as one who came and lived this life as we are living it. He was in all ways tempted, yet without sin. He left us that perfect example, and now he is the one that is mediating between us and God. He is our advocate, speaking to God on our behalf. So when we think about these words that we end all of our prayers with, in Jesus' name, are these not three of the most wonderful words of consolation, peace, and assurance that one could ever hear? Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today. And we pray that God will bless you
with a wonderful day.